Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, YouTubers. This is Jerry Diamond with How to Get Out of Babylon. Flat Earth Homeland, baby. You know, there's a crazy station channel. Um, Flat Earth Nation. Or Raria de Laurentis or something like that. I have not looked up what that means, but... Just on the subject of uh, flat earth and whatnot, he's got a massive amount of information. I've talked about him before, but just a shout out to him. Uh, a lot of good, 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 solid stuff. Uh, a lot of things that have been swept under the rug, hidden historically. You know, the Grand Canyon tunnels that jo James Wesley Powell, Wesley Baden Powell, no, that was the Boy Scout guy. Anyway, Wesley Powell, I think, was the guy's name that first. Uh, scouted and searched out the Grand Canyon and, you know, just a lot of the mounds around the country and the different fortifications, bizarre stuff. This guy has a lot of information on a lot of that. So, last I heard a couple things was that the UN was given the Grand Canyon, haha, <laughs> yippee ki -yay. Um, and something even more recent than that. But, uh, anyway, a lot of weird things going on, a lot of things being discovered, Antarctica, you know, Supposedly buried cities, entrances to the underworld. Uh, gee, you think? Yeah, so. Anyway, um, just a shout out to him. So, Flat Earth Nation. And on that subject, too, I've got a lot of stuff on screenshots I want to get out. I mean, there has been some phenomenal things coming out. And I believe, I've said before, that uh, probably going to accelerate. Uh, the amount of things that are going to be done with infrared filters uh, already. Exactly what I said. I predicted that there would be a lot of further photography. Well, instead of 273 miles, 500 miles. Yeah. So stick that in your global pipe and smoke it, baby. Ah, apple cider vinegar. All right. So, back to the uh, survival quotient idea test, and I'm going to try to get about 15 minutes out here. I don't know how long I have, so we'll do what we do. Um, I think it was when Obama was being elected the second time, and I, again, for the umpteenth time, felt like the, the world was coming to an end, or, you know, the, it was the end of civilization as we knew it, you know. Uh, things were probably going to change, go upside down. And uh, at that point in time, I said, you know, I've done what I could do. Uh, we have the people around us that we have around us. We have collectively the things that we have gathered to help uh, everyone survive all these decades. And for a lot of us, I'm actually... Having started in 1980, a relative newcomer, so think about that. When you think you've been buying stuff and sticking it in a closet for two years now, or three years, or five years, or ten years, or fifteen years, or twenty years, even with everything I've done, you know, I don't give... many of us a lot of hope. I think we're going to see a lot of mir miraculous things happen. But division, animosity, hatred, anger, those are all works of Satan, of the devil, whatever you want to call him, the enemy. So we need to pull together. We need to help each other. We need to be humble. We need to be giving. We need to be uh, forgiving. You know, First Corinthians says that Love, you know, uh, endures. It doesn't take account of wrong. So just on the subject of unity and, and, and helping each other, that's where we got to be. So um, think about the best person you've ever had in your life, husband, wife, um, a friend, uh, somebody with that has a lot of capability. You know, and there are a lot of people out there. I've mentioned a couple. 
Uh, guy can shoot a monolithic dome with both concrete and spray foam and mix the concrete and blah, blah, blah. Has the form. You know, yeah, I'd love to see him get here. Come on out, George. <laughs> and he wants to. So, um, you know, in my case, I've been collecting things. And I don't tell everybody. I don't make a list of everything. It's not wise. I've bragged on a few things and lost a whole bunch of things because of it. So, my brother-in-law bragged on his uh, Vulcan breaker bar. Better than anything he's ever had. Well, somebody stole it out of his locker. So you kind of try to beat that into your head. Don't brag about your guns. Don't brag about this and don't brag about that because people uh, have ears. You're in a cornfield. Remember, you're always in a cornfield. There's ears everywhere. So, And don't make empty threats. Don't make stupid threats. I mean, I learned that from a Vietnam vet. I never threaten anybody. Uh, good. It's a wise thing to wise thing to practice because you threaten somebody and say, "Hey, I, I'll track you down and kill you, hunt down and kill you." Oh, you just threaten somebody's life, you know. So, um, uh, empty threats are dumb. Empty or not, <laughs> even if you have the full capability to do something, you know, it's not a wise thing to do. So, anyway. And the other thing is, I'm pretty sure this guy didn't threaten anybody. He just did what he wanted to do. He just, if he had a list, he had a, and he had a list of people. You know, shit hit the fan. There's like five, ten going to be dead people real quick. So, anyway, and that's true of virtually every ex-military person. Understand that. And I'm talking about good people, even not not bad people, the good people. So, I was going to say something earlier. I'm going to go ahead and throw this out here. Um, you, people talk about, you know, uh, being lone wolf, being, there's this thing out there, that the gray man, and, and it's a good concept. I mean, I've always, for decades, uh, when we go to thrift stores, I would always buy bland clothes, you know, something that would blend in, always thinking camouflage. And, but camouflage in a city is a, a basketball and sweats and Nike, well, not Nikes anymore. Burn your Nikes. Yeah, Colin Kaepernick, Nike Paul, picked him for their poster boy. Oh, geez, come on. Wow. How could, they, what were they thinking? <laughs> uh, their, what, their stock just trashed, went, you know, they lost, a, I think, a couple billion dollars in trade just because of that. I gotta go flip a burger here. So, uh, you know, the point I wanted to make is that even Special Forces, uh, there was a letter, I believe it's still printed, the, res the Resistor. You can look it up. It was printed by active duty Special Forces at, on the base, Fort Bragg. And this was, goes back to 1990 or ish, uh, probably before the Oklahoma City incident. But those guys had as their philosophy, I gotta kill it here. Sorry, I'll pick up with that. 